Eisenberger. Hey, Weichberger. <laughs> what are we doing today? Today we are back on the PCH. We are cruising the stretch between Jenner and Bodega Bay. Uh, we're starting our journey off here at Cafe Aquatica, probably get a coffee, maybe a little snack. And then we're gonna head down uh, the one, head down PCH towards Bodega Bay and hit as many of these pullouts as we can. Uh, we'll go down, we'll check out some beaches, some overlooks. It's about noon now, so sun sets at 7.30 and let's see what we see. Plenty of time to plenty see a time, lot. Plenty of time for adventure. We're gonna find a beach. We just left Jenner, heading back to the PCH and whatever beach we find first. Look at these cows. Cows! Coastal cows! Oh, can't see them. There they are. Lots of cows. <laughs> when we came, it was, a, it was a lot more beautiful when we came at it the other way. <laughs> the other way, it was like, wow, look at that. <laughs> Check it out, go to Rock State Beach. Okay, here we are. We have just arrived at Goat Rock State Beach. On our last PCH adventure, we visited Goat Rock, so we are bypassing it this time to check out the nearby beach, Goat Rock State Beach. This is also where the Russian River meets the ocean. We lucked out to have a really beautiful sunshiny day. It's cold and windy, but it is sunshiny. And the color of the ocean is almost unbelievable. It is beautiful. Because often it's overcast. When we get a sunny day, the blues really come out. So, so beautiful. So we have packed up a picnic. We are going to find a spot to spend a little time soaking up the beauty of Goat Rock State Beach. There it is, the goat. And here are some seagulls, very active seagulls here on Goat Rock State Beach, enjoying the wind. Just <laughs> All right, we have found our spot and what a spot it is. The view of the arched rock and goat rock. And then of course this beautiful stretch of Goat Rock Street State Beach under the sun. Checking out our view, go rock in front of this arch rock, the juxtaposition of a complete rock, a <laughs> rock with a gaping hole in the middle. <laughs> it's quite impressive. Oh, so impressive. Yeah. Weifberger back here. We came in this way, it's cool if you come in the way I came in. Hi. Hey, this is cool back here. Oh, it feels warm back here too. It's really fun. We could go further. Oh yeah, this feels warm. <laughs> I'm going here, come to here. Try to be really safe. <laughs> we 
climbed up this this little area here, found this cool grouping of rocks to climb, and now we have this beautiful view. We're warming up because it's quite cold and windy. Esmerberger, looking good. Yeah. And maybe five hours before sunset. Uh huh. So we better get going. Yeah. Let's hit it. Let's go. Goodbye, go Rock State Beach. Okay, so we are at our next stop on our PCH drive. We found just this little pull-off. It was actually, uh, sounded like a neighborhood street, something way. Uh, but the you can pick up the Cordon Trail here. We are not going to do that. We are going to take this little trail here out towards the water to see what we see. Hey, Asmenberger. This, this is freaking beautiful. Wait till you see this. <laughs> Isn't it it's, so gorgeous? Look at this green. Are, the green of this grass is absolutely lovely. There's the adventure mobile. See the ocean behind. And we're going to just walk this trail to the end and see what we see. Here we go. I'm just going to do it in real time, the whole thing. Because I can see the end of it, I feel like. And we're just going to straight, uh -huh. straight over there. That's what it is. And we'll see... What we got, but I'm gonna let you go ahead so there's not just mom and aunt Peggy on the video, there's an actual adventure burger there, too. <laughs> you look so cool, husband burger. <laughs> this is awesome, isn't this so beautiful? Yeah. Wow, yeah, so we just looked at the map and just kind of looked for a little area where you could park and and found this. It's totally unmarked. It's a street. I don't even remember the street name. It was like uh, one like one <laughs> street south of the Shell Beach. Maybe we could look it up and do yeah, a little voiceover that. or add yeah. to this later. Yeah. We're, Adventure Burgers, we're not so much about tidbits. We're about like, here is this beautiful place to come adventure. You, you, you kind of do the research, <laughs> you know? <laughs> well, I can tell you what we decided. We, well, oh, here, let me give you a landmark. There's this very interesting house here. This house is on the road. And we are directly across from it. That's probably and there's Harry's a little house. bit of a trail. <laughs> right, Gary's house. And there's a little bit of trail out to the water, and so we're taking it. Um, basically, on the PCH, you can just any pull out, anywhere where there's a place to park. And so that's what we looked for on the map. We found one just past Goat Rock, oh, just past Shell Beach. Shell Beach. We were at Shell Beach on our last PCH adventure, so we are skipping that one today. And um, we pulled off on the next spot where there was a drive out towards the water and a place to park. Um, like I said, you can access the Cordon Trail back where we parked, and now we are approaching the edge of the world here. Oh, I don't think we could have gotten a better day. This is amazing. I mean, that wind is a little bit cold. The breeze is bringing the temperature down maybe a little bit <laughs> more than I would have liked. But the sun is making everything just absolutely gorgeous. I mean, look at this. Wow. 
And here's another beach. I don't know which one this is. Man, this area is so amazing. This, this beach has hardly anyone on it. One person with their dog. The beach we just left had hardly anyone on it. Just get out here. Connect with nature. <laughs> Chasing waterfalls. Oh. All right, so we decided to take a little walk around Duncan's Landing. We're not going to go down to the beach because there were quite a few people down there, but we are walking this little walk around the point here. Oh, a little trail through the ice plant. It's a walking trail. Ooh, should we go for it? Should we summit this? All right, let's summit it. All right, we're about to summit this rock. We're about to summit this rock. Oh my God. Wow, look. Summited the rock, whatever rock this is, what should we name it? Oh, maybe it has a name. What's this? U.S. Coast and Geo Geodetic Survey. Triangulation Station. Wow. <laughs> I'm here. We noticed there's a little trail that looks like it's going right under this, so we're gonna we're gonna go around and and catch it and see if there's like a little cave or something under us. We're gonna go to the cave! Is that what it is? Do you think it's a cave? It looks kind of like a cave. Oh my gosh, okay. Okay, here's where the trail leads. It's <laughs> really cool. Here we go. Fence. Fencing. There's some fencing here. It's a cliff. It's totally a cave. And it had a cliff. There's some oh graffiti. It goes all the way back in there. You could potentially, I mean, you could crawl through there. If you, if you wanted to and you were feeling really brave. Everybody's at the cave. Gotta be at the cave. No, I'm, I don't want to shimmy in there. You're not gonna skirt shimmy down there? No, I don't think so. It's too scary to me, but come look. Uh, I mean, it does look like it opens up in there. It doesn't look too bad. Like, I don't think you would be squished the whole time, but it is creepy. It looks like it just goes through the other side anyway. Yeah, you could definitely make it if you wanted to, but that's not for me today. But we're in a cave. Yeah, like how interesting is this? I'm ready to come out. Maybe you could give me a hand down these little jagged rocks. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> that was a fun adventure. I think this is the spot. Yeah, these are stairs.
down there. That's, uh, I think that's Schoolhouse Beach over there. With all those rocks over there, there could be tide pools and stuff. That could be a good low tide spot. So like next. Hey, Hasenberger, where are we at? Hey, Weiberg, we're here at Schoolhouse Beach. Last stop on our PCH trek. Now we think this is the last stop. Okay, so we were standing over there, and we noticed that there's some rocks over here, and it's low tide. So now we're gonna go see if we can see anything cool over at those rocks. And then maybe to the Bodega Dunes Beach for sunset. That's the plan. Okay. Hopefully we catch the sunset. Hopefully. Here we go. Let's go see what these rocks have to hold for us. Fresh blue things. Tell us in the comments if you know what they are and link extra points if you link to the article. We're getting close to the rocky area where we think there might be some things. Hopefully, see, yeah, hopefully some cool stuff. Maybe some starfish. I hope so. Wow, look at all these. Oh, dang, that's super huge. This is awesome. This is like the most epic. This is really good tide pulling. Yeah, this is great. This is super cool. The sea stars everywhere are so amazing. There's lots of sea anemones. Yeah. Over here, there's either like there's just more. There's so many more. They're all over. Wow. Tide pulling is my favorite thing. Yeah. And this, this was epic today. Look at you. Whoa. Wow. Oh my God, you're awesome. You're so awesome. California State Bird! If Look you know up. what a group of quail is called, put it in the comments. There's one over there. <laughs> <laughs> okay. okay. Last beach of the day. Bodega Dunes Beach. In the Bodega Dunes campground. For sunset. Like hot sunset here at this beach. Last time we were here. That was New Year's Eve, wasn't it? Yeah, New Year's That we watched uh, the uh -huh. sunset? Yeah. That was beautiful. Great way to finish 2023. All right, so we're gonna hike on in, find a spot on the beach to watch the sunset. The boardwalk is damaged and closed. So we're sneaking down underneath. Already seeing some of this beautiful golden light. It's kind of cold out here, pretty windy. And beautiful.
Wow. <laughs> like Husband Burger said, wow. we love this beach because of the soft sand and the proximity to the campground and the fact that there's tons of real estate and hardly ever anyone here. All to ourselves. Wow. Really crazy. I just noticed that I like it. This is like a UFO. <laughs>